and pull it. Let's do that. There's scenes where Beta interacts with other props. So we're actually creating a practical version so that they can cut from their CG beta into our practical beta and then have it wriggling around. She's asleep. Looks good, right? We also have scenes with Owen where Owen carries Beta in a sling, so that interaction really requires a practical puppet as opposed to a CG one. Is that a dinosaur on your shoulder? Yeah. Why? It was a lot of fun to be able to do that. This thing is basically a very, very expensive puppet wearing another very, very expensive puppet. We have what we call a performance puppet, a much more lightweight version. It'll have eyes in, but you can see here it's, it's posable, so we can pose the arms. And it's going to be a lot lighter than the animatronic because it hasn't got a robot inside. So effectively, someone can take these handles and actually perform it on the day. It makes me a little more slower. 